For the last 28 years, Palm Sunday has been very special to all of us. In my ministry, we've come dancing down the aisles to the song of Jesus Christ Superstar, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest, with Jesus coming along. And we would wave our palm fronds and then throw them on the ground in front of him as he walked forward. That story we find in the Gospel of Matthew, the 21st chapter, the first 11 verses. Of course, this morning's message is entitled, Hosanna. As they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethpage on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples ahead, saying to them, Go into the village, and at once you will find a donkey tied there with her colt by her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, tell them that the Lord needs them. And he sent them right away. This took place to fulfill what was spoken through the prophets. Say to the daughter of Zion, See your king comes to you, gentle and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. And the disciples went and did as Jesus had instructed them. And they brought the donkey and the colt, placed the cloaks on them, and Jesus sat on them. And a very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. And the crowds went ahead of him, and those that followed shouted, Hosanna! It's the Son of David! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord! Hosanna in the highest! And when Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred, and they asked, Who is this? And the crowds answered, This is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. It is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. What do you think when you hear the two words Palm Sunday? First thing that comes to my mind is the Hosanna. I think of Jesus riding into Jerusalem on a donkey colt. I think of how important Jesus was that day. People were lined up to get a glimpse of him as he entered Jerusalem. It kind of reminds me of the TV program Entertainment Tonight. You know, that television show devoted to hype up the celebrity life. Everyone who is anyone wants to be featured on E.T. Something that begins well often turns out bad. Many celebrities will tell you that fame is a double-edged sword. George Clooney once said, I love New York and I love Central Park, but it's been 15 years since I've been there. Celebrities have to plan their lives. They're hounded in restaurants, hotels, even on the street. There is no peace. How true it was for Jesus, too. One minute he was loved, the next shout was crucify him. However, for this moment, let's focus on the glamorous entrance. People were shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna to the Son of David. He comes in the name of the Lord. Palm fronds and cloaks were strewn all over the path as a symbol of royalty and respect. Remember what Hosanna means? It means, please save us. What an appropriate word for today. Lord, Son of David, please save us. I prepare all my turning point work lately in my family room on the computer. Even though I've visited, checked our people in the hospital and at their homes, I have taken them to the doctor's appointments. I've taken food to those in need. We are now in lockdown. The stores are that are open are still filled with people who are not obeying the moratorium. And when they were asked to stay home, why? This COVID-19 virus is silent and an unseeable enemy attacking our people. Let us shout to Jesus, Hosanna, please save us. Author John Nabot was quoted once as saying, a leader is a person who seeks out a parade and then gets in front of it. You see, Jesus never looked for a parade. The parade was looking for him. It was the first day of Holy Week, a time of celebration. For Jesus, that celebration was short-lived. Seems that when we offer up the name of Jesus, there are two responses. Some are willing to die for him. Others wish him to be already in the grave. Even his own disciples betrayed him, denied him, and fled the scene when the going got rough. 
But Jesus never turns his back on us. Why has the world always seemed to be hostile, hostile to Jesus? People say that he was a prophet. Even in today's Gospel of, of um, Matthew, Hosanna to the prophet from Nazareth and Galilee. But in history, people have scorned, laughed at, ignored, and persecuted God's prophets. But Jesus never claimed to be a prophet, did he? No, he claimed his true identity, which is much higher than a prophet, son of God, actually God incarnate. Remember in the Gospel of John on the 14th chapter of the 9th verse, Jesus' own words, when you have seen me, you have seen my Father. Jesus' identity was crystal clear. Our identity, our direction as disciples of Jesus Christ, is take up our cross and follow him. Ignoring that command is to reject and betray him. Judas Iscariot was an example of a follower who made his choice. Be careful how you live. Jesus heard the teachings, even experienced the miracles firsthand, and he still betrayed Jesus. The kingdom of God is about peace, not power. Love, not bigotry. It's about gentleness, not domination. Hostility of our world is because God's kingdom is eternal, not immediate. People desire now, even today. People want what they want when they want it. And when Jesus became a victim of the Roman rule and their unjust judgment, the people turned against him. It's hard for humankind to understand and envision an eternal king versus an earthly king, which is why we struggle with things like coronavirus. We pray, Lord, put an end to it now. As we near Holy Week and Jesus' week of passion, we can begin to anticipate the other H word, that H word brings us to the goal after our participation in the past Ash Wednesday service and those memories of the treacherous final week of Jesus. That word, of course, is hallelujah. Easter is coming so we can celebrate the eternal king. Wave your palms today and stay home with Christ so you will for all eternity receive your crown. Let us pray. On this day of great rejoicing, we welcome you, our King and Savior. We walk in the shadow of your cross. Hosanna, we cry. Blessed are you who comes in God's name to save us. Hosanna. Strengthen our faith on this Palm Sunday so that when the time comes to carry the cross, we might still call out to you, with heartfelt praise. Give us the grace and the courage to follow you on this holy week from death to resurrection, from darkness to the fullness of light. We need you, O Christ, our Savior. Hosanna to the King of immense compassion for all who endures the world of suffering of humanity, which is us. We praise you. Hosanna. Amen. <laughs>